have you ever gotten over a relationship or you're trying to get over a relationship um, or a toxic environment, toxic person, toxic thoughts? Um, if you're after maybe you've had some type of traumatic experience or memories, have you ever just felt like so heavy and so lost or so empty or even just like it's so much going on in your physical body and it's hard for you to move forward. It's hard for you to get out of the cycle of negative thoughts. Have you ever felt that way? I'm sure we all have. I know I have. One of the biggest ways to help with that is to do spiritual baths. Now, this is something I've been doing for a few months. I'm new to this and it has really helped me. Now, I do want to preface this by saying that whatever you do, whether it be spiritual baths, meditation, journaling, Whatever it is you do, scripting, you work on manifestation, all that jazz, like everything is different for everyone and your experience is going to be different. It's going to be your experience. So me telling you my experience with spiritual baths or listen to someone else, you might feel like, okay, that didn't happen to me. So maybe I'm doing this wrong or maybe I'm not connected. Maybe I'm not tuned in or maybe this just doesn't work. Everything is different for everyone. And so your experience is going to be different than my experience. So go into anything that you do. Go into it with an open mind and just go into it just like, okay, I'm doing this and just not so that I can have this person experience, but go into it with your own intentions and your own energy. Okay. And that's, that, that will help you to be able to move forward in anything that you do in life. If you go into it with your own energy, your own intentions versus comparing yourself to someone else. Cause when you do that, yeah. Um, that's that's dangerous <laughs> so with a spiritual bath what you're doing is you are allowing yourself to remove all of this energy that's in your physical body out okay especially with women we have sex with men different men their semen is in our body that person's like energy and essence is like in your body on you and you want to remove that if you have had arguments with somebody that's in you that's on you you've had um you've been around like at work like in toxic environments um if you've just got a relationship you just move from a place like that energy is on you and it's just sticking to your physical body like legit that's why you 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 feel it in your body like the sickness all of it you feel it and so when you do a spiritual bath it just helps all that to go down the drain right along with the water now everybody does it differently some people feel like you know you might have demons or evil spirits on you and it goes out with their spiritual bath it's totally different there's a lot of videos well i don't know if it's a lot of videos but there's videos out there people talking about it for me it was more so like myself like my own like thoughts that i was having and the mind state that i was in like i really had to shed away some um just like the relationship that i had with myself i really had to shed some of the energy that i was holding on to i was too heavy i was holding on to too much stuff i'm a cancer like that's why cancers like we end up having like ch chunky faces or like we have like that push like no matter how skinny you get you got that little pudge that's how cancers are because we just we hold on to stuff you know that's why a lot of cancers are hoarders we just hold on to it and so I just needed to release and to lighten up my load so that I'd be more open to what God has in store for me. So with a spiritual bath, you don't need a lot of stuff. You can need Epsom salt, regular salt. I like to use sea salt or you can use like pink Himalayan salt. Those two things um, that and then also Florida water. You can make your own Florida water or you can buy Florida water. I bought mine. I looked up... Um, botanica that's what i botanica i looked up like a hispanic like um i don't know supply store like if you have like a little hispanic area in your town go there and usually it's some like store they have like convenience stores you'll find florida water uh or you can look it up some places they say they had it at walmart i went to like two walmarts could not find it but you need those three things to do a spiritual bath and some people they work with moon energy so you can work with a full moon or you can work with a new moon or you can just do a spiritual bath whenever you need to do them and it's completely up to you like i said when you come into it you come into it with your own energy your own expectations so and sometimes you just come into it not expecting anything you just come into it just to experience it if that makes sense for anybody um so those are the three ingredients you need now you can add other elements to a spiritual bath you can add in essential oils that you resonate with maybe 
especially if you're doing like on a full moon or a new moon depending on what cycle the moon is in so say the moon is a full moon in the sign of I don't freaking know. I'm trying to think oils that resonate with certain signs. So like say it's a full moon and a sign of Leo. You might want to use something like a citrus fruit. Like a grapefruit or orange uh, lemon oil. Like an orange oil. Because I think like citrus fruits, they're really light. They're kind of fiery. You can put that into your, um, into your spiritual bath just to bring in that Leo energy. And then you can do essential oils you can also use certain crystals in your spiritual bath um, i wouldn't necessarily put them in the water but you can because some crystals go good in the water some don't but you can use them as meditation um, or just hold them while you're in the spiritual bath you can hold them on your body in the bath those type of things just to help to bring certain things out of your body and you can what i like to do i would say definitely do this i like to do it at night you can do it anytime during the day, but make sure when you do it, there's no one around or your kids are asleep, your spouse is asleep, like you're not going to be interrupted because this is like time for you to really go within and to start setting your intentions and start thinking about, okay, you know, certain things you want to rid yourself of. What do you want to walk away from? Okay. So I like to, my, I like to get my kids together, throw them in the bed. They're good. They're asleep. I like to turn off the lights in my bathroom and light candles or I have my pink Himalayan uh, salt lamp going and I like for things to be quiet or what I really like to use is some type of like sound bath. It's just look on YouTube sound bath. You'll find it there and I like to play that. I like to play it's a uh, what do you call it like crystal bowls or Tibetan bowls or rain sounds whatever just because I do like to have some type of sound around me. So I play that, I dim the lights, it's, you know, everything's chill. Before you do the bath, this is what I do. I take a shower, like a cleansing shower, cleanse myself, and then I take my bath because you don't want to just sit in a bath and anything on your body is just floating around. You don't want that. So take a cleansing bath and then your, your showers afterwards. So, of course, clean the shower, everything. I cleaned up the bathroom, all that jazz, and just... Um, even the days leading up to my spiritual bath, I'll start tidying up the house a lot more, getting rid of certain stuff, going through boxes, throwing away stuff, getting rid of stuff, no, that, donating things, like just kind of like building up to the energy of shedding um, what's around me, my space, just to get up to that energy, to build up to it. And then, anywho, I get everything I need. I like to take my Epsom salt, my salt, and everything that I'm using, and I put them in special containers that way as i'm ready to i got my water going i just pour everything in there and i measure everything that i use it's completely up to that's just how i like to do it because what i did the first time i did my spiritual bath i measured everything put them in specific containers so that's why i like to do that but it's completely up to you how you do it and that way i don't like to have like the bags of the epsom i don't like have none of that out i like to get everything in bowls and that way when i'm done i can just rinse them out and be good i don't have to like put stuff up and do all this cleaning afterwards i want it to be easy for me to clean to to do the bath and to clean up afterwards so that's that but have everything out that i need and you do the bath of course run your water you put in all your ingredients you put in your florida water you can just put a few drops in there and then you can light a candle and just lay in there of course like i said i have my sound bath going and i'm just sitting in there and i typically will take my crystal and i'll put it on my third eye or i'll hold it in one or one of the other hands i'll put it on my body and i just lay there and i and i and i just think or i just listen to the music the sound and i just allow myself to just be there and you can chant you can say affirmations or you can say mantras you can um like for me i believe one time i did it, i was like i am healed i am healed i am healed because you all know i had two kids under the age of two like i my body i feel like i just been holding on to so much i had so like i've had some some dramatic births so like i was just holding on to my labors i was holding on to these little human beings that i once had in me and it's like I had to shed that and go into the next stage of my life. I'm no longer holding a, body, a human beings in my body. I need to reclaim my body. And I need to shed whatever did or did not happen during my labors and just move forward. And I, I really wanted to work on my uh, sacral chakra 
to help to release a lot of things so that I could be more in tune with my body, my sexuality, all that. But I was holding on to so much baggage from, like I said, my labor and my childbirths. And I mean, my childbirths and my pregnancies, all that. I was just holding on to so much in my body. And so I just had to keep telling myself, I am healed. I am healed. And I just kept saying it, kept saying it. And like, that's what I was just feeling. I was just feeling and envisioning like just all of that tension, all of that negativity coming out of my body. And I just kept saying, I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. And it's like, I was just, I just screamed out. I was, and I just, really, I'm not saying like I didn't have any control of my body, but it's just like, I was really in that moment. I was in the present moment, like legit, you all, I don't know how many of us are present. You know, we're not thinking about the past, the future, what we gotta do. We're just like, just thinking about the moment. There's so much, um, power in doing that and that's what I was I just brought myself into the current moment I didn't think about anything or anyone else that's why I said do this when you were uninterrupted and I like to do it at night like I said I like the room to be dark light a candle keep it pushing and my I, was, I just wanted to picture my my womb being cleansed my womb being healed my womb being emptied of all of the baggage all of that being moved out of my body Okay, and also out of my mind, envisioning certain things. I should have did this, I should have did that. Like allowing those thoughts to be, like to just move away from me. Okay, and so I can step into a different chapter, a new chapter of my life and to grow more. Okay, so that's what I did. And you just do it. You can, I would, I, I watch a video, I put in the description box who I uh, first heard about this from. But she was saying, don't go over, I think, 30 minutes or 20 minutes. I don't know. But you don't want to be in there forever, okay? You're not in there, like, you know, just chilling, drinking wine. No, you, you're you really in there to do some work to remove certain things from your body. So I just allow myself that whenever I feel like it's time, I just go ahead and boom. I flip, like I use my foot to flip the freaking thing up <laughs> so the water starts to drain. And I'm just imagining everything just pouring out and just going into the drain, going into the drain, going into the drain. And I, I told myself, I said, when I, when I lift up from this tub, I will be a new, I am a new, I am a new. I believe that this was when I, it was actually the new moon in Leo. I was like, I am a new, I am a new. So this was in August. I will live from this as a new person, going into a new chapter, going into who I am as a woman, my sexuality, all that. Because if you've had kids, like, I don't know, some people, maybe they snap back right away, not their body, but like being able to just have sex and do whatever. But you all, I had like some traumatic childbirths, you know, thank God both my children are here. They're healthy. They're happy. But it was, it was a lot happening <laughs> during my childbirth. So I believe my, like my body kind of held on to that. And it's the same if you've had been molested or raped or anything like your body kind of holds on to those moments and I don't think we always realize that and you know your mind holds on to a lot of stuff the subconscious mind holds on to a lot of things and we don't know it because it's the subconscious mind this is why we attract the same people the same men the same situations because we have not healed our inner child we have not done the subconscious work that needs to be done so that we're not constantly attracting these people into our life it's another video but I really felt like, and I kept telling myself when things would come up or thoughts would come up the days after the new moon, I would tell myself like, no, I am a new, like this is not, I don't have to keep telling myself that same story. And of course, everything doesn't happen overnight. I still have times where, you know, stuff comes up about my, my childbirth or just about my body, my sexuality. And I'm just like, oh, you know, but I have to keep reminding myself, I am a new, okay? Like that's happened already it's in the past i'm moving forward okay that's why i say work with different with new moons and full moons it's important to work with them with spiritual baths to me because it's very significant um so that's another video though but that was my experience that was like a few times after i did my first one but with my first spiritual bath i did the bath and afterwards that's when i felt like some crazy happened so afterwards I did this and I'll put the actual um, video that I followed. I put that in the description box. The ritual that she said do after your spiritual bath. And 
I did it and I just laid out, arms out, legs out. And I was using the lap, lapis, uh, lapis Lazuli crystal. I love this crystal. Lapis Lazuli. If I find it, I'll show it. It's in my pillowcase, anywho. But I was using that crystal and I just felt like, I just felt and I saw like this really beautiful blue glowing aura. And uh, I just felt it too. Like I just felt like I was this aura and I saw this aura and I just, I really felt like I was just like in, I felt really elevated, let's just say that. And it was actually pretty amazing. And I just, it was like, it's so weird. Like I felt the color. I don't, I don't know how else to explain, but I just, I felt like I had became this glow, right? And I was just there in it. And I was so in the present. It was amazing. Like I was just really in the present moment and it was pretty darn amazing. And he, anywho, I was, I had, like I said, I like to play my sound bath. I was playing my sound bath and I was just really in it. Like I wasn't like getting out of my meditation. You know, when you meditate sometimes, like you kind of get out of it and go to a different thought and you got to bring yourself back to it. No, I just stayed in it and I was just like, whoa, okay. <laughs> it was amazing. That's what happened. I don't know if it was the bath or the ritual or the moment or what, but it was pretty darn amazing. That's the only way I can explain it. It doesn't sound like much, but to me, it felt like a lot. So that's the spiritual bath. That's the materials that you need to do to use it. And I feel like it makes sense. Like with Epsom salt and salt in general, salt is very cleansing. And Epsom salt is supposed to relax the muscles. You know, when you can relax your muscles, then you can relieve the tension and you can remove certain things out of your body. So that's that. That's um, that's my experience. That's that's how you do it. That's what I've done. It's up to you if you want to try it. I know some people won't, but I'm not going to keep saying that on this cha channel. Like, I know this isn't for everybody, but da, 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 da. at the end of the day, this is what I do. This is what I've been doing. I'm at that age in my life where... And at that point in my life where I'm opening myself up to more and I want to see more and do more and be more open and just see what fits me. I take what I can get from certain things or certain people or certain teachings and I leave what doesn't fit me. And something that fits me today might not fit me 10 years from now or a few months from now. So I'm just at that point in my life where I want to continue to grow spiritually, mentally, physically, and I just want to be a better person, a better woman, and I just want to elevate, okay? So take it or leave it, it's up to you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you found this video helpful or you're gonna try out a spiritual bath. Do you need to detox from certain people, certain energy, certain mindsets? Let me know in the comment section, have you done one before? And go check out the uh, videos that I'm gonna put in the description box. Let me know if you all have any more suggestions or videos you would like to see. Thanks again for watching, peace.